We're here at Scaricon with David Naughton. And uh, I got to ask, because you're best known for a uh, for American Werewolf in London. However, uh, to me, uh, I, I'm the guy, I, I host a, a Psych Rewatch podcast. So oh, wow. I remember you from it, uh, Let's Get Harry. Yes. Uh, Let's what, get Harry. What was it like? Because I've, I've actually talked to some of the Twin Peaks people about this before. What was it like kind of doing this homage slash parody to your own role? Well, it was really quite flattering, and, and these were talented guys that, you know, wrote the, uh, that particular uh, episode, and mm -hmm. so I, I was just delighted to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was nice not have to, to have to play the werewolf, you know. <laughs> I got to play sort of the doctor guy, yeah. which was more suitable for me, but overall I, I, was, I became a fan of the show mm -hmm. as a result of uh, that experience. Do you always feel like when you, when you get to do that, you immediately become the red herring in any given episode because it's like everybody's watching to see like what's he doing? What's he? You know. Oh, what's going to happen? I mean, yeah, yeah. well, yeah, um, I think it's, it's because obviously it's years later and people may not even make the connection mm -hmm. until maybe they see the credits and recognize my name mm -hmm. as opposed to recognizing me right away. Mm -hmm. I didn't really worry about that. I I just. Uh, want to make a credible character, whatever it may be, even if it happens to be something that I personally am very familiar with. Yeah. So one of the things that I've noticed lately is that you've, you've come into contact with a bunch of kind of the popular TV horror franchises. Uh, how, is, is that mostly a matter of people know you from your horror work and they come looking, or is that just a kind of a fluke of, like at the moment there's a lot of like really good horror on TV and so you're reading scripts that you like and that's where they end up? Well, I would like to think that that's, you know, the case, but mm -hmm. no, generally it's just, um, if it's, you know, really specific mm -hmm. to American Werewolf, they come and try to mm -hmm. you know, find me and talk me into it. What they don't realize is I'm very willing <laughs> to be a part of some of this stuff yeah. because it's well written, uh, mm -hmm. it's popular, uh, it's nice to meet people in their platform, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe uh, just spread the light and the love of being a werewolf. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and you, you did American Horror Story, right? I and, did an episode of that, yes. And, how was that? Because obviously that's one of those weird things that has become like it's blown up so much. It really has. It was kind of like uh, the, you know my experience doing Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. I did an episode of Seinfeld in like '91, I think it was their second season, yeah. when they were still you know small stars, yeah. you know, and in fact in danger of being canceled. Mm -hmm. And you know that show became what it obviously is a syndicated series, one of the top. And I think that was the same with American Horror Story. It was a bigger show when I did it. It wasn't, you know, an unknown show by any means. But, you know, it had Lady Gaga on it, which mm -hmm. was what attracted me, and uh, Angela Bassett, of course. So, uh, and I was just hoping to be, you know, as small a part as I had, just mm -hmm. having it expanded, going, come on, recur my part. <laughs> I want to come back to this. Because it was a particularly unique, mm -hmm. you know, and what was cool about it, which a lot of people don't know, is the way they shoot that show, it's so, ha so hectic. They were shooting four or five episodes at a time, mm -hmm. so it makes it for a real nightmare for you know yeah. like script supervisors who have to keep the episode correct, mm -hmm. and then all the wardrobe department keeping all these you know uh, episodes current and yeah. all the clothes, and then bringing in the actors. So I'm sure the, the actors that are regulars on the show are shooting scenes from five different episodes in one day. So I, I, how they keep it all straight, I have no idea. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to this, but one last thing I wanted to ask. How often do you have people who come up to you and say, you know, every time I see you now, I got Warren Zevon just immediately in my oh, head. You know, I always <laughs> wonder why, you know, I can't remember when that, you know, Werewolves of London was yeah, released. Yeah. It wasn't in the American Werewolf of London, which seems like a natural fit, but I think it might be part of the reason why it's not in it, because mm -hmm. it's so dead on. Yeah, I think uh, it was contemporaneous to it, too. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, one of the things that I don't think a lot of people knew about was that, um, that that uh, John Landis wanted to, to uh, Cat Stevens, mm -hmm. Moonshadow, to be in the film, which mm -hmm. was a huge hit. But Cat Stevens believed in werewolves and didn't want to give us permission <laughs> to use it. So let that be a lesson to you werewolf fans. All right, thank you so much. Hey, Appreciate the time. Thank you.